as he went through his battle with cancer, I was able to see how love and hope bled into every aspect of his life. Art was an outlet for him, so he was a musician. And while he was in the hospital battling with cancer, he was able to use that tool, which brought him hope and he wanted his music to be the tool to share that love to people. When he passed in 2018, it was like no question for me. Like that fire just jumped straight on me and I knew what I had to do. And I wanted his legacy to carry on with um, that hope and love and the transformation that he had with his art. And as soon as I heard Sean's story and what he's doing in Zimbabwe, I immediately was like, all right, we gotta like, we gotta work together some way, somehow. I live in a country where uh, things are not easy, right? A year later, here I am, and we are talking about dreaming bigger through the ethos of the foundation ignited this vision that wants to go out and do stuff. Uh, that is bigger than the circumstances that surround me in my country. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been an amazing experience in Germany. There's so much stuff coming at us that we never have a chance to stop and let our creativity live. We are currently in conversations with the African Union about standing up a new civil society in Zimbabwe, a ministry of hope whose work will be to inspire hope in its people. 